The Way 31 I team is pushing for answers after four abuse victims sued Alabama's Department of Human Resources for failing to protect them. In the last hour, a spokesperson sent us the policies and procedures the agency is accused of failing to follow. Daniel Spurgeon is already spending 25 years in prison for sexually and physically abusing his foster and adopted children for about a decade. His wife, Janice, goes on trial in less than two months. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. In a lawsuit filed yesterday, an attorney for some of the victims says if the state followed its own procedure, the abuse inside the couple's home in Florence would have been noticed years earlier. Way 31's Breck and Terry is live in the Shoals after spending more than 24 hours trying to get answers from DHR. Yeah, guys, I've spent the last three years following this case since the Spurgeon's arrest. And all this time later, the agency in charge of protecting at-risk children can't even answer some of our questions. But here's what we did learn today. Uh, at, in the last 90 minutes, we got this quote from the Department of Human Resources, and it says that social workers are supposed to see foster children at their home at least once a month. End quote. Homes are visited at least every six months and approved every two years. Agents are supposed to talk with each foster child at least once a month. Supervisors are supposed to review and oversee the process with managers in the county office. They told me, quote, standards for uh, social workers to handle a caseload of 18 children, end quote. Now, DHR won't say if any of these policies were actually followed in the Spurgeon case, but Daniel Spurgeon already pleaded guilty to sexually abusing some of the children. Court documents I obtained also show that agents repeatedly talked with the Spurgeons about corporal punishment, which is illegal in foster homes. DHR also refuses to say if any changes to policies were made because of this case or what action may have been taken against agents involved with the Spurgeons for eight years. Now, I asked to see a copy of the department's policies and procedures. They told me that it's well over a thousand pages and would cost us 25 cents a piece if it's requested. Now, the spokesperson for DHR also couldn't tell me how many times they've been sued within the last five years. In total, they're being sued right now for $100 million. And you can trust me, I'll still be asking about those policies. Live in the Shoals, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. All right, thanks, Breck. And Way 31 spoke with the victim's attorney. He told us they filed that lawsuit because they want to protect others from what they went through. To find out.